exit the game. Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. dodged it. Yeah. Now, I also found out uh, Steam actually, funny enough, added some games that you could find on the browser, internet browser, that you can't play anymore due to, uh, what is it, fucking Adobe Flash no longer working. Yeah, they added them to Steam. I mean, some of them. I mean, I bought the Swords and Sandals collection. I bought... Hmm. Last Man Standing, that collection. Uh, I think that's it. But there's a lot more. Oh yeah, explosion's not that effective when it doesn't launch me off the cliff. But when you're playing Pokemon, holy shit, <laughs> you don't have a ghost type. Or a rock type. Yeah. Let's be honest, rock, rock types typically have the physical defense to just tank it, no problem. Yeah. Um. What was it? So I s looked up the other day, I was curious, on some of the top hardest uh, Pokemon uh, gym leaders. In third place was Whitney from Gen 2. Um, <clears throat> best way to describe her is the bitch with the mill tank. No one... No one like her. Does it specify her. a difference between, like, the standard Kanto Gym Leaders and Pokemon Yellow's version of them? Because Pokemon Yellow just, ha just like, spiked up the levels for Gym Leaders. It was absurd. Yeah. Um... The one thing I liked about second generation was... How it introduced the feature that not a lot of them have is you can go to a separate region. So after you beat Johto, you can yeah, go to. Yeah, unfortunately, Kanto. they forgot to put any content in that second region. Well, I. It's like they just poured no, it over the wrong. maps and didn't put anything in it. Yeah. I mean, Heck, they barely put anything in their first region. So it's like, wow, Johto certainly feels ambitious and unfinished. Well, I mean... No... Really the only objective, like, only true main stuff had to do with Team Rocket and... They didn't have much of an appearance like they did in, uh, um, fuck, Gen 1. I Sadly, feel but, like uh, they still, uh, they were still more prominent in Gen 1 than they were in Gen 2. Yeah. I mean, but what I do give props on for Gen 2 is... Well, one of the most interesting things is the first gym leader. Not being a rock type, because usually the first gym leader is a rock type. That was, like, let's see here. Gens 1 and 3 did that. 4, oh yeah, I guess 4 also did that. And then, uh, Gen 2, it was and then 5 was like, 
We're whatever was is strong against your starter. I wouldn't even call that a fucking. That, <laughs> like, oh man. That, if I'm gonna be honest, probably one of the worst gyms. But I like how <laughs> they went about it. I mean, it's a fucking cafe. Like, instead of just fighting one, why not just pin me up against all three, one after the other? I mean, I do like the concept of, like, hey, you g need to have, you need to make sure you've actually, like, caught another po- caught and trained another Pokemon, because, like, we're gonna be, no matter what star you picked, we're gonna be strong against you, so you need to be, be prepared for that. Unfortunately, I oh, don't yeah. think they up the difficulty nearly enough, especially when they just give you the elemental counter for that in the required dungeon just off to the right. So it's like, yep. I compared just, to like, it's just say, good idea, poor go execution. Exactly compared to like when I don't know, you go up to the first gym in Gen Two, and if you ain't prepared. Volkner will fuck your day. I, I just feel like it's because he has a high level evolved Pokemon. It's like, here we are I'm punishing you for training more than one Pokemon. Unless you... other Because if you don't, you got a level grind for the first gym. It's like, hey, you chose Chikorita or hey, you chose Cyndaquil. Yeah, good luck, buddy. You just fucked yourself. Wow, what's wrong Even with Cyndaquil in that gym? Like, I understand Chikorita oh, because, with type disadvantage. But... Uh, his Pidgey, uh, Pidgeotto had, uh, Mud Slap. Oh god, Mud! Right, I forgot, Gen 2, they had Mud Slap on it. <laughs> yep. They, don't, the they didn't that have that in the remakes. Your accuracy. <laughs> lowering your accuracy with every time it hit. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, the the Gen 4 remakes of Johto, they did not have Mud Slap. So oh, that's why I forgot about that. Yeah. Like, um, I, be, I just kind of haven't played Gen 2 at all. Uh, so the third gym leader, again, being Whitney, she was a bitch to fight. Uh, because her milk uh, tank had rollout. Yeah, and no, Whitney don't. is very infamous for her how ups for the rollout milk tank. But I found out actually, the hardest gym leader was in first gen. Sabrina. How? How could you guess on your first? I guess? mean, Psychic was actually was very, was like uncounterable in first gen. There was a problem because there were points where the game would glitch out, and the only Ghost type you could get, being Ghastly and Haunter, and Gengar if you traded. There was a point where a glitch where. Ghost type was not, uh, didn't affect psychic type. So the only type advantage you could get was bug type. <laughs> the only bug type move, the only bug type attack move in Gen 1 was Leech Life. Yes. And the only ghost type attack move was Lick. Yep. And I remember. So Bye. at that point, it was normal. just get a physical attacker and just get a physical, a fast physical sweeper and just hit him as hard as you can. Like that was the entire or, strategy to that gym. Yep, yep. Or you could do something like uh, the the problem was because all of her Pokemon hit hard, like yep. no matter what, and. I'm just like, uh... I mean, if you I have guess. some of the good special stat, you might be able to get away. Oh, right! I remember... God, when I did my oh, Yell God. Nuzlocke, I ended, up, I ended up going in with a worse team than I expected, so I... I just had to, like, abuse Hypnosis and just spam Headbutt with Hypno. <laughs> what? Oh, God, 
Yeah. I don't want to have a smoke anyway. Yeah, no, fucking that. <laughs> that hypnosis. Stuff. Like, the problem with hypnosis was it had a 90 accuracy of 90. But it missed more than it fucking it hit. It has an accuracy of like 55. 55? Yeah. I thought that was Confuse Ray. Nah, Confuse Ray is guaranteed. Or, Confuse Ray is 100. Honor. Super Supersonic. Supersonic's like, also like 50. And then, you know, it's like if you have, I don't know, Blastoise and you get Hydro Pump, it's like, yeah, all of a sudden, oh, I just missed. Yeah, I, that's why I prefer Surf over Hydro Pump. Yeah, Surf is the better move. It's like, God, I remember Pokemon Conquest, like, Ah, yeah, it's a 105% chance to hit. Miss. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> God, I... If it... Me and Pokemon games, if my attack can miss, it will miss. Well, all three kings decided to run through the hallway. God, it's so wonder I actually managed to win the yellow Nuzlocke. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the Nuzlocke challenge in Gen 1 was neutral. I've seen people rage really hard. And I played yellow, which is harder. Way harder than red and blue. Yep. Oh, well, hi, kitten. Oh, sweet steel yeah. leggings. Yeah. Um. Did I? Oh, no, I did leave that. No, but, uh, didn't... I want to say in Gen 1 and 2, didn't they have, uh... Yeah, they had it when, um... Team Rocket would come after you. It wasn't just regular Rocket grunts. It was, uh, oh fuck, Jesse and James. Uh, that was Yellow specifically. Yep, Yellow. That that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I'm just like, oh my god. And then the fact that not only do you get Pikachu, but you can also, yeah, you can also get uh, Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. Yep. And but you I have to think I killed them pull. all. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Well, in my Nuzlocke, I think I got all three of the starters killed. If I remember correctly. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Kyle? <laughs> and then I think the God, I remember the, the first wild battle when I withdrew Eevee and vaulted to Jolteon and immediately died to Eradicate. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. I, I was sick. I will. I'll be honest. Radicate is underrated. With its. It's hyper strong thing. early game, but like it, it, its potential falls off fast. Depending on the moves that you put on it, it's like uh. I've seen people beat the Elite Four with the Wigglytuff. I mean, Wigglytuff's really fucking strong. Yeah. What is it? I saw a guy put Bubble Beam, had it with Defense Curl, which I didn't realize until actually playing, taking into consideration that. Uh... If a physical attack is super effective, even it could your character could have a high attack, but if they have a higher defense, it's like the odds of you, unless you get lucky with your critical hit, you're not gonna uh, kill it, uh, faint it fast. Like uh, Pokemon Crystal, I beat 
the Elite Four with the highest level being 47 and the lowest being 33. Uh, me? I've scoured. Where could you My team be? was uh, Typhlosion, uh, Haunter, oh. uh, the Red. Oh, Red Gyarados, Suicune, Crobat, and Hitmontop. Huh. God, I think I my need... Crystal Nuzlocke, I currently have like Teddy Ursa and maybe Totodile. That was... Once you get Ursaring, like, he's tough as nails, but I, on, well, no, I would actually take him into the Elite Four, because, well, I wipe. I mean, I've, I've beaten Pokemon XD with an Ursa Ring before, I, I am feeling confident in their strength. Oh fuck, it Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, oh my god. Think that I can Nuzlocke over... that game? <laughs> I don't know if that'd be possible, because you can't actually go out and catch Pokemon in the wild. Ex well... Yeah, you actually- Exactly, yeah, it's, if you're- There's already a limit on how much Pokemon you could get. So, yep. Yeah, the just the big rule bender is the part where you can't nickname them till you purify them. Yep. But I mean, the fact that you could steal uh, other NPCs' Pokemon when they were shadowed was fucking hysterical. All right, love you, and I will. Well, see you in the morning. Yeah, we'll both be at work, same time. <laughs> um. Yeah. yeah, my man took some time off, and he's coming back to work tomorrow, which is awesome. Um, no, but one of my personal favorite Pokemon in Gen 2, and you might laugh at me, and that's okay, was Sunkern. That Explain? Little it, if you could get a... No, Sunflora wasn't even in Gen 2. Yes, it or was. was Sunflora was definitely Gen 2, yeah. Oh. I think Sunkern has a small... Uh... Isn't it rare to, uh, to find one? Because I know you can find it in the, um... The po uh, in the little park. Yeah, I don't know it's rarity, though. I've never really paid it any mind. Um, it's actually not bad. I mean, uh, if you get, in my opinion, the perfect setup on it would be Sunny Day, Solar Beam, Giga Drain, and Mega Drain. Two Drain moves, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know the typical... Uh, set up for Vile Plume was Toxic, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, and I think Stun Spore. But I feel like the move Acid is a bit underrated. Mainly because, like, it's not very good, but if you got it, if you were lucky enough, you could. You know, even if it did a little bit of damage, that defense down makes a massive difference. I mean, I'd rather just use something that's guaranteed to lower defense. Like, uh, Leer or Screech or... Yeah, if I want to rely on defense down, I'm going to get something that guarantees it. Um, like, Acid Spray! <laughs> yes. Uh, it guarantees actually, the sharply lower special defense, like, holy shit. That is yeah, so overpowered. If I'm going to be honest, I feel like bug-type Pokemon ha is, are a bit un... 
not underrated, but somewhat underwhelming, depending on which one you get. Uh, the early bugs are meant to be early, but, like, there's definitely late-game bugs. Out I mean, I'll be honest. Actually, no, not even outside of Gen 1, because Gen 1 had, like, Scyther and Pinsir. Those are pretty strong. Uh... Beedrill. Beedrill had a very high attack stat. Uh... I would... Nah, Beedrill's an early. They... Not even, like, Mega Beedrill is that good. Yeah. Uh... Scizor. Which, unfortunately, the only way to evolve is trading a Scyther with Metal Coat. Yeah, but Gen 2 at least also added Heracross, so they could... So, like, oh, Heracross, that's oh a much easier or strong bug to obtain. Yeah. Just uh, that don't was put it up through... against any f anyone with any flying moves. <laughs> yeah. Heracross was interesting because it was a bug fighting type, which... I liked because in Gen 3, I usually had them with Mega Horn, Brick Break. Uh, I think he was able to learn Seismic. I like using Seismic Toss because it worked like Nightshade. And I can't remember the last move, to, move I'd have on him. But Mega Horn and Brick Break for me was a must have. Yeah. Yeah, at least like later gens they added X scissors so you can have a strong bug yeah. move with accuracy. Oh yeah, uh especially on Pinsir. Uh fucking one move that was so fucking annoying in Gen 1 was rap. Oh god, I remember abusing the hell out of it just so I could train Dratini. The, again, the biggest problem is, and I find it fucking stupid, you can't get Dragonite. Like, I have them on my D- I have the special Pikachu version and Crystal on my, uh, 3DS XL. Problem is, I don't know anyone else that has one. Like, I... around me. What's stopping you from getting Dragonite? You have to trade. No. He evolves at level 55. What? Yeah, he just evolves at a really high level because dragons. Fortress. Fortress was a good one. Oh god, Fortress is such an impenetrable tank. I mean, I took uh, Koga's down with one flame wheel. I... F that should not have killed a Fortress. It did. I... Man, Koga must really sucked as a trainer. As dealing for well, I mean, originally he was a gym leader, and then his daughter took over. And I'll be honest, his daughter put up more of a fight than he did. But then again, when he hit the Kanto region, it's like. I had a bitch of a time fighting Lieutenant Surge. But that's also because he had two right shoes. 
And I didn't Did you even not have, have a ground, ground type? type? No. Which is my biggest mistake. Um. What? Who's shooting? Oh, the guy up on the bridge sees me. What is it? On my, uh. Typhlosion, his moveset is. Blame wheel, headbutt, thunder punch, and iron tail. Also, Victory Road. The actual cave you went through. It was stupid underwhelming in Gen 2. It's like. Yeah. The trainers? That was just like another argument for me to say unfinished game. It's like, what? You know. The, like, I remember in Gen 1, you went through Victory Road. <laughs> fucking A. Like honestly, the only the only way I'll believe like, like your the the traitors left because your rival beat them would be if your rival just ate them because they do not leave when you beat them, so yeah. clearly that's not a thing they do. <laughs> but the rival in Gen Two is honestly a very very interesting character. Like, and I'm edgy. Like, oh no, edgy doesn't mean witty. I guess I'll go be depressed now. Well, no, he, besides that, I mean, he's the son of Giovanni. That... so? I, I thought that was interesting. It's like, neat reference, bro. Do you have any actual content, or are you just relying on references? Ref? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, I liked how, uh, when he went to Mahogany Town, it's like, yeah, go to Lake of Rage, you know, battle the Gyarados, capture it, defeat it, whatever, get the Dragon Scale, and then it's like, oh, hey, it's Lance, and then finding out later on, oh, yeah, I'm the champion. <laughs> he went from... The fourth Elite Four member to Yeah, I'm the champion now. But like, the ultimate that challenge... spiky hair loser. Yeah. <laughs> but the ultimate challenge comes from Red himself. God. It's like... And of course Red is a fucking level grind, cause the Kanto gym leaders are lower level than and the Johto Elite Four, except for Blue, he's the only one who, who's actually a higher level than the Elite Four. Well, actually, uh, no, they're all, uh, well, except for a few. Uh, Misty was very close. But then again, it's like, you can't fight her off the back, no, 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 no. You have to go to the power plant, fight off the rocket member. Find the machine part, go back, go past through the golden bridge, interrupt her date, cause you a pest, and she fucking has gold duck star me, couple star me's. I, I will say, okay, the one gym leader that was a bitch to fight in Johto was Claire. Her fucking Kingdra having the only weakness of a dragon type, but up to that point, it's like, you can't, you, you don't get a fucking dragon type. The closest thing, in my opinion, would be Gyarados, but he's flying water. Oh, that, that's think. perfect. That means he's not weak to dragon. Give him a dragon move and bam. The only one and he, he resists water too. Yeah, well, the only dragon move he has is Dragon Rage, and that does an initial forty damage. Oh. The you don't get oh, your no. first dragon move until you beat Claire. Oh no! And that Dragon Breath, yes. And then well, then I guess breath. I'm gonna be relying on 
on Leech Seed Sleep Powder. Uh. Unless it's like, surprise Kingdra knows fire moves, which it could. Yeah. I mean... A Pokemon I used to take it down was... Crobat. Well, that's because I had Crobat at level 45. So I was a little over leveled for her. But I mean, then again, my Crobat has Fly, Bite, Wing Attack, and I think Swift. I think. No. Yeah, it was Swift. I mean, I didn't get my first flying type being Crobat until after the sixth gym. Because Golbat can't fucking fly. I don't know why, but Crobat can. Like, what the hell, you guys? Come on. Yes, he's a fat fat, but I mean. I mean, granted. I, if I'm gonna be honest, Crobat's a really good viable flying poison type. Oh yeah, no, Crobat's real strong. Especially in Gen 5, oh god. You know, I didn't realize, uh, later Jeds, Leech Life went from tw a power of 20 to a power of 80. Yeah, no, that was like insane increase that just happened, like, what the fuck? It's like, yeah, like they, they even upgraded string shot to be sharply lower speed. It's like, yep. It's like, are you making trying to make the early bugs actually like, like frightening instead of just pests? Like, what the hell? I mean, my favorite bug. Uh, type. Well, my bu favorite bug Pokemon right now is Galvantula, being a bug electric type. And my fucking god. I had Have you failed Volcarona yet? Uh, which one would that be in? Uh, that would be a Gen 5 exclusive. I don't think it's findable in any other gen. But Volcarona's a fire bug. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, no. And that um, thing is a pseudo-legendary. Yes. And not oh. to mention it comes with Quiver Dance, so it's like, ah oh yes, I now have increased special attack, defense, and speed. Alright. <laughs> um, I've, I did have Volcarona, uh, but I liked Galvantula better. 